Today marked the end of an era. Physicians Regional is closing down after 90 years, along with Lakeway Regional in Morristown. This comes after the company announced that the hospital's closure is going to happen back in October. Both shut down officially on December 28th. And with that shutdown, behind St. Mary's Hospital comes this group of sisters. Gabrielle Hayes joins us now, and this is just an amazing group of women that you got to meet today. That's right, Daniel. Today was filled with a lot of memories, and while it felt like the end, some say it also felt like a new beginning. Today, Physicians Regional Medical Center was filled with light, hugs, and the Sisters of Mercy. I was, was inspired by the Sisters of Mercy who taught me. Sister Martha Neighbor started at St. Mary's 46 years ago, but her journey started over a decade earlier. I've been a Sister of Mercy for 60 years. She says when the Sisters of Mercy opened the hospital back in 1930, they had one goal in mind. Our mission here has always been that we extend the healing ministry of Jesus. And by we, she means everyone. Everything we do, and no matter what department people work in, it's all part of that work of doing the work of God and caring for people. Doug Leahy practiced medicine at the hospital for 42 years. But just like Sister Neighbor, that's not where his story starts. And actually, he started working here in the kitchen in uh, 1964 for 63 cents an hour. At age 16, Leahy got a job in the kitchen. I used to wash dishes, so if things went bad with being a doctor, I'd always get my job back washing dishes. He says even though the hospital will close in a few weeks, the Sisters of Mercy's work is something the community will never forget. The thing that they bring about is the belief that the good Lord's mercy will work through all difficulties. And while today was filled with a lot of goodbyes, Leahy says it's just a new opportunity for a different kind of future. This is sort of an ending of this structure, but it's the beginning of a new day. After the facility closes, the only two sisters who still